These are all one stars? Yeah. This many pages of one star reviews? Yeah. That's depressing. Um, so here we go. So after visiting them on my lunch hour, I can say that the lime truck is a real lemon. The food sucks as much as the chef's personality. If there was no weight and if the price was cut in half, I would probably give it a two star rating. I have no idea if the food here is any good because we didn't get to try it. First of all, the line was very long. The cashier was a They do not do alterations to their menu items. Yeah man, it says it on the door. Whack as This place sucks ass. Shri K. Because I'm a vegetarian, I dislike the lime truck. All right. I sometimes eat chicken, but there was no chicken dishes. Well, are you a vegetarian, Shri K? Because uh, it says that you sometimes eat chicken. Only went because my girlfriend really wanted to. One star. Medium rare burgers only? Really? They won't even make it medium? Are you serious? So I decided to skip it. Too bad, because it sounded good. Everything about this restaurant was amazing, except for the food, which was a complete train wreck. I'm in the food business, and when I walk into a place, I notice things that others may not. The owner, Daniel Shitcom, uh, my last name is Shitcom, introduced himself as a visionary and showed me his tattoo that said, the future is now. Which it says I am the future. Anyways, there isn't enough land in California to support that ego of his. Their pork belly nachos were okay, but a bit overpriced. As you all know, I'm a pretty tough food critic on Yelp, but pretty fair. One star. Uh, if I could give them no stars, I would. Wow, no ketchup for oversalted french fries? Instead we got some radish chili dipping sauce? Not as good as ketchup. Louisiana P says, Combination of cold ice cream and a fried donut is unacceptable to the palate. Waste of money, and I didn't even pay. The pork chop we were served was huge, but very pink, and we were not sure if it was cooked well. Luckily, none of us got sick, so I guess it's okay. Haven't had the food yet, but the wait for the food is extremely long. 40 minute wait at 7.30 p.m. on a Saturday, not bad. So deplorable, we walked out. Thanks for yelping. Seppy D, I'm lactose sensitive, F my L. Food was good, but we needed some hot sauce. Nikki T says, they close at 9 p.m. That's why they get one star. Never found a table, so we never ate. They don't have anything gluten-free, which counts me out. I've had better fried chicken and rice dishes from Flame Broiler. <laughs> uh, I really love the interior of TLT. Well, that's nice. I had a fish platter that was amazing, but my aunt and uncle didn't enjoy the meal. Cool dude, thanks for your feedback. <laughs> I paid for a glass of that wasn't even a Enough said. Go ahead and say thanks to the foodies guys for helping me relive my nightmares.